Speaking at the maiden edition of a public lecture on drug policy reform, Professor Carl Hart said countries such as the United States see the drug as a resource which can generate revenue to fund developmental projects. The professor stressed that education about marijuana is needed for a responsible usage. We have legalized cannabis and we are not going back because we have seen the dollars. People are making money off of this and that's the thing that's going to drive it and that's the thing that's driving it. Canada has legalized weed, the entire country. Uruguay has done the same sort of thing. And so it, this is coming. This is gonna happen. We have to implement better psychopharmacology education. The education around drugs is horrible. It's essentially say, just says, uh, just say no. Chairman of the Parliamentary Select Committee on Defense and Interior, Seth Kwame Achampon, says the committee will soon take some decisions on the usage of the drug in Ghana. A lot is happening. We received a lot of memos from many, many, many people. And all the subjects we've been discussing here are part of the concerns people raised before our committee. And as such, we are considering them. We have not even gotten to the consideration stage of the bill. We are yet in the face of putting our report for us as a nation and as a parliament to debate the second reading which is on the policy and principles of the particular legislation we are looking at presently. So it, we, we are nowhere near, near completion now. But we are a very progressive people and our committee is going to enact a legislation which will give this country where we are a very useful, practicable, pragmatic law. One of the groups that have called for the decriminalization of marijuana is the Advocacy Committee of the Rastafari Council of Ghana. The group's chairman, Kex Pongo, says legalizing the drug and regulating its usage is the way to go. It is a good it's a good uh, reasoning because the legal regulation will benefit a lot of people in the society. It will benefit the government in, in terms of tax revenue. It will benefit uh, the citizens in terms of uh, employment. You know, and it is also uh, benefit the users and uh, yeah, users of the help because there will be no be any more uh, criminal activity against them. The executive director of Crime Check Foundation, Ibrahim Oponkwatin, says decriminalizing and legally regulating marijuana usage will help in decongesting the country's prisons. Well, definitely the prison population is going to reduce, it's going to lead to decongestion of our prisons because we have a lot of, uh, you know, cannabis um, addicts in our country's prisons. Uh, you know, it is a constitutional right that, that the state is supposed, for instance, to provide rehabilitation facilities for people who, for instance, are addicted to cannabis. There are many people who want to quit, but under the current law, if you say you have a problem and you need help, you'll be locked up. Reporting for City News, my name is Philip Nee Latte.